Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's inspiring quote for the day is Everyone you meet has something to teach you. In my last video, you'll see I use these um, stencils by Livescraft and I had an idea for another card. I need to make an anniversary card and I just decided I'd use this for my background. So again, I'm going to come in with a 6x6 six six card base as I think that that fits best. But this time I'm just going to use one of the stencils. I'm just seeing which one. Um, yeah, I'm I think maybe that one would be fine. Just making sure that it's clean there. What I want to actually do with this, first of all, is I want to mask off. I'm just taking any large bit of stickiness off of there. I'm pulling that down so that I can see what I'm doing. Basically, I want to mask the edge all around. just to create um, a sort of a border. So that's just created a border all around my card. And next I want to come in. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do here, because I want to create a negative space I'm just going to use a piece of this. And I'll be using this little stamp here with the happy anniversary on. It's just one that came in a magazine there going back a while. And I link everything I use below in the description box. So I just want to get around the size of that. Doesn't need to be any bigger. And I'm just popping that down as a mask. Just there. And then I'm popping my stencil over it. So let's see, I'm going to reuse some of this tape that I used the last time. Whoops. I don't want to block my little hearts. So that'll just hold that down for me. Now what I want to use is my Versamark and I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer and this is the clear one. But with the Versamark, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to pop it down. Oops. Okay, this isn't really held. Just want to make sure that that's held down because this is quite sticky and it lifts it which I don't want, but anyway, we'll come in, that's better. Hmm. 
and I'm hoping that this will work out because it is lifting a bit. May have distorted it, but hopefully we'll get away with that. And I want to come and just lift, lift this off. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I can see that it's got most of it, but there's a piece over here that I think I'd be happier to give it another go. Let's see. Just gonna pop that down there. So let's just give that another try and yeah I can see that that has hit it. So the next thing I want to do here now is I want to come in I'm just going to use this To pop down oops and I'm coming in with the cosmic shimmer like I said it's just a clear one Yeah, that's worked out okay. Yeah, that looks perfect actually. So I'm just going to come back in with that and I'm going to melt the cosmic shimmer with my heat gun. Okay, if you can see the light reflecting on that there, just gives you very subtle background. I'm going to come and just remove the bits of tape. turned out quite nice but it's kind of distorted my card base a bit so what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm using another card base and I'm going to come and I'm going to cut this out now it's not a waste because the other half is perfect and it can be used for another project so I've gone ahead there with these um, nestable dies they're actually by Sue Wilson from Creative Expressions and like I said I list everything I use below in the description bar 
and I've cut out the background and I've came then and I've cut out this beautiful um, embossed foreground I guess we'll call it with the same die set and I decided I was going to go ahead as it's an anniversary card and this is a little die that I've had for years and it was a tattered lace one that god I must have it I don't know if it's still available but I'd say I have it at least 12 years maybe I don't know it's a long long time anyway oops so I'm just going to pop that out beautiful so what I want to do next is just on here before I go any further I'm coming in with my stamping platform and I want to pop that in the corner and by running this through the the die cut machine it has kind of straightened it out a bit as well for me so what I want to do is here where I've created the negative space, I want to get my stamp, which says happy anniversary. And I want to just pop that down there. I didn't want to end up any with any of the embossing powder there because if I did, it wouldn't have stamped properly. So that was why I masked that section. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with my Versafine Claire in Nocturne and I want to ink that up. And I could have just stamped it with the acrylic block, but after already messing up and perfect, but I'll give it another go. I didn't want, you know, I, I was afraid to chance it. I didn't want to ruin it, so... I have the stamping platform, so why not use it? Makes more sense. So, there we go. A nice stamp, actually, that one. So I'm coming back in now, and I'm just going to pop a bit of double-sided tape onto that. So just popping that down and for this one I'm going to use some foam tape. center that and just pop that down as well and you know even that on its own is beautiful but I think let's pop out that piece I think just to finish it off I'm going to pop a bit of glue on the back of this There's another couple of little bits there that didn't pop out, just that one. I think that that's it. So just want to come back and pop that down there. And how pretty is that? It was a very quick, simple little card, but that's the final result. And I'm very, very pleased with that. Nice, fast, easy little card. 
that looks very pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.